Hey, Miller. Hey. Hey, Vaclav, we need to talk to you. The cute agent is back. What's the cute agent thing? Shh. Hey, listen. Did you hear that? What? It's probably a movie. No, I don't think so. Actually, I think it's from the movie Clockwork Nightmare. No way. This is for real. Ah, come on. It's called Suspicion of an Officer. Oh man, Victoria. Call Tate. Oh, crap. I will. Later. Oh my god, Miller. You were like... Absolutely right. It's like... A movie. You're not funny. We could get into serious trouble. Christ, Miller. Lighten up. Let's check out his room. See? I was right. It is Clockwork Nightmare. This guy is twisted. Oh, stop it. Did you see the pictures on the wall? Yeah, so? Gore films, crime scene photos, porno. Need I say more? You just described three quarters of adolescent America. He's harmless. We're here to ask about the prince. We aren't here for character assassination. We'll leave that part to the lawyers. Hey, we need an officer to guard a door. I bet if I sprayed luminol all over the bed, I'd need sunglasses just to look at it. I bet if I sprayed luminol all over the bed, I'd need sunglasses just to look at it. Now, I've seen some pretty gross stuff during my career, but a pair of his underwear just took the number one spot. I think these dirty clothes have melded together to form a new life form. Oh, look, it's the award winners. Bundy, Gassy, Berkowitz, Ramirez, Fish, Ridgeway, and DeSalvo. Various pictures of serial killer victims. I didn't know they ever made a sequel to Clockwork Nightmare. Various articles on serial killers. What's going on? Police business, miss. Ouch. Hello. You must be Mia, right? Yes, and you seem to have me at a disadvantage. I'm Agent McPherson, and this is Detective Miller. You wouldn't happen to know where Vaclav might be. Actually, yes I do. I saw him at work. He was getting a massage, or taking a hot bath, whichever. Where do you work? Where do you work? Here's my card. The address is on the back. Can you check it out? I'll meet you over there. Sure. Better than being ignored. Do you mind if I ask what you do there? Not at all. Actually, I could show you if you'd like, because I can see all that tension in your shoulders and neck. My apartment is just a few steps away. Thanks for the offer, but I have to decline. I really need to talk to your friend, Vaklov. Friend? Vaclav is a nice guy, but he's no friend. He's a neighbor at best. Sorry to interrupt the flow of your questioning, but can I be totally blunt here? Uh, I'm not sure I want you to, but go right ahead. Are you spoken for? <laughs> not quite what I expected, but then again, it could have been worse. To answer the question, yes, I'm spoken for. Oh, how unfortunate. I don't have much time to chit-chat now, but I will contact you later. I'd like to ask you a few more questions. 
Any time. My offer still stands if you ever change your mind. I'll be in touch. You call Ms. McPherson? Yes, I need you to guard the door in case Vaclav Kolar shows up here. Description? About 5'8", black hair, glasses, and he has a scar on his face. Okay, I'll call in if he shows up. Alright, thanks Tate. I think I might have screwed up. You didn't try your tough guy routine, did you? I might have, yes. What happened? I only said that I needed to talk to one of the clients. He wouldn't let me in, so I asked him again, this time with some subtle encouragement. You mean you flashed your badge in his face, right? That pretty much sums it up, yeah. Then what? He asked for a warrant, so I'm screwed. No way we can find a judge at this time of the night and so close to the holidays. Correction, we are screwed. But wait, I might have an idea. Stay here in case I miss Backlog. You know what he looks like? Yeah. Wait, what are you up to? Just watch the door, I'll be right back. baby, but I need to see your pass. I don't have my pass. I was wondering if you could let me in anyways. Then y'all ain't going in. Y'all must be the new girl. It always be the same old motherfucking routine. Listen, y'all don't forget your pass. Y'all forget it, y'all don't work. You really can't bend the rules just for tonight? Yo, listen up, mama. A rule is a rule. It be my ass if I let y'all in. I thought they'd brief you. They did, it's just I live really far and it costs me a fortune in cab fare. So take a cab, they pay for it. I'm sure it's not a problem. How would it look to you if you start someplace and you're already asking for money? It doesn't make me look good. Yeah, I see your point, but I still can't let y'all in. How many girls besides me? Four. Are you sure they brief you? Yes, they did. Do you like working here? I mean, how is it? Yeah, I like working here. It's not bad at all. Better than where I used to work. I know about my end of things, but on your end, I have to say, y'all should all be asking one of the other girls. Well, I gotta head back and get that pass. Sorry about that, but I really got no choice. I understand. Your idea didn't work, I gather. Yes and no. I have to see Mia and try to convince her to give me her pass. Can you stay here and watch the place in case Kohler decides to split? Sure. Can you get me some milk bones while you're at it?
Hey, Officer Tate, how you holding up? Oh, I can't complain. At least it's warm in here. So nothing, huh? Nothing. Not a goddamn thing. So, Agent McPherson, why'd y'all come back? Forget something? Sort of, yes. I have some more questions for Mia. Oh, I have to say thanks for the recommendation y'all gave to the Vice Captain. Hey, he was really impressed. My pleasure, and how did it go? Nothing official, but uh, I I'm probably in. Congratulations! That's great news. I, I just thought you should know, and, uh, and thanks again for everything. Well, God knows you've earned it. Hi, Mia. You had a change of heart? Sort of. I need a favor. Even better. Come on in. Hello? Yes, okay. I'll be right down. I have to go downstairs for a second. Make yourself at home. But Mia, all I need is... I won't be long, promise. Interesting. She has a five grand television, but she has a dial phone. It looks like half of an apple. Foucault's Pendulum. Now that's a great book. Hey, this looks like the girl whose photo we found in the body. Mia, who is this? Oh, that's Steph. Oh, shit, I was supposed to meet her to do another portrait of her. Where were you going to meet her? Why? What's wrong? Just tell me where. Uh, at my studio, 4455 Beauregard. Okay, I know the place. Please, Vic, what's going on? No time to explain. Just stay here. Don't move. 